All right, so the Pittsburgh Steelers, in I'd say somewhat surprising fashion, land Deontay Johnson for an extra two years, signed him to a two-year, $36 million contract extension, $27 million guaranteed. Makes him the 17th highest paid wide receiver between Michael Thomas and Christian Kirk. Good team-friendly deal, I would say, right? Yeah, it's good for both sides. It lets Johnson get a handful of guaranteed money. Uh, Twenty-seven million is definitely nothing to you know sneeze at. Yeah. Gives him some short-term um, you know kind of investment there, and then you know he's able to hit the market again at twenty-nine. So I mean that lets kind of best of both worlds for kind of both sides and for the Steelers getting a receiver like that um, as a seventeenth highest paid guy in the league, um, especially how other guys have gotten paid this offseason as a steal. Yeah, it's definitely a steal and. It's good for Johnson because you look at the big number and you'd say two years, 36 and some change, that's not great. But the $27 million guaranteed, that's what counts. I think for him and for any wide receiver, really, like that's a good guarantee for a guy who, like you just said, is going to hit the market again at 29. Yeah, for a lot of people, they get too caught up in you know how, how the number goes, but they don't pay attention to what the player is actually going to be likely to earn in the contract. And you know, Deontay's almost 100% guaranteed, barring some freaky injury, to see all of that money. Um, and like we talked about, getting to hit the market again at 29, um, he could sign maybe not a lucrative deal, but you know another really good size contract um, kind of to finish his career out. So um, it's good for both sides. We might be able to get Johnson out here to uh, practice a little bit for the remainder of training camp, get some uh, kind of chemistry going with some of these quarterbacks. Do you see Deontay practicing immediately? Probably not today. Um, we did see him earlier um, walking up the field, but I'm not really sure if um, he'll practice today or not. But maybe in the future, I definitely think it'd be beneficial for him to get some reps in, especially with Mitch, uh, maybe Mason as well. But, um, you know, the receiver rooms look good over the past couple of days as well through training camp. So. Do you think that it's – how important is it for Deontay to get reps with Mitch? Both veterans, do they have to build that chemistry? I would think it just timing-wise you want that chemistry if you can get it. Um, I mean, I'm sure those guys have thrown a lot, you know, off to the side or at practice and stuff like that. But yeah. um, I think the more reps you can get, the better. But definitely um, try to see where he's at conditioning-wise. Tomlin alluded to him being in fantastic shape like he normally is. So I think we'll get him out here pretty soon. Just not sure if it'll be today.